Hi you guys, it's Lindy. We're doing another unboxing. And of course, as you can tell, it is from Bulk. So this lot is a bath and beauty lot with a retail value of $903 according to their manifest. So these are all uninspected returns. So again, I don't expect brand new condition for everything. I have done unexpected returns from bulk before where half of the box was kind of a wash, but I was able to make all my money, which is good. Um, so it's kind of a toss up, but in this box there are 108 items and I paid $122 for the box plus $30 to ship it, which makes my total cost of goods $152, which makes the average cost per item $1.41. So there's 108 items in this box, so we're going to go ahead and tear into it. Upon looking in the box, I really have no first impressions. Um, now keep in mind, my cost of goods is approximately $1.41 per item. Uh, so these are not going to be super high dollar items. So I know there are a lot of lashes. Okay. So a lot of these are going to be going straight onto eBay. These lashes are really cool. Uh, I've never put on fake lashes before, honestly. Um, I might keep one of these just to try it. Look how cool these are, because I have multiple of these. Look at these. Okay, so if you're interested in pixie dust, dust eyelashes, make sure you're watching my eBay store, because I'm gonna list a bunch of these. So we've got one, two, the boxes are like a little smushied, but the lashes are fine. Three, just right on the top, there are three of these. Uh, again, I don't know what the resale value is. These are clearly Halloween items, so I'm not expecting them to go for a lot, but they are by Ardell. Um, so I would imagine that these to be worth, you know, five, six, seven dollars a piece. Um, so I'll probably start them at like $9.99 in my eBay store with free shipping. And my battery's gonna die. Why does it always happen to me? And then here are, I have a couple, these dark maiden eyelashes. Man, look at those. So... All of these are gonna go up in my eBay store. But there are more lashes than just Halloween lashes in here. So here's some more of the Ardell lashes. It's the whole the whole kit where there's like the two sets of the wispies with the glue and the applicator. So there are ooh, hiccup. Oh, here's some more of those dark maidens. So there are four right here on top, five, six. I don't know if these are all identical. They, no, they're not. 110, 105. So these, I will definitely, ooh, there's more of the sparkle pixie ones. I need something to put all these in. Stick them all over here instead. I'm not sure how I'm going to list the eyelashes though. These, I'm probably gonna list uh, onesies. The other ones, I might do twosies. I'm undecided. I'll look at eBay and see how other people are listing lashes and then make my decision after I look and see how other people are listing lashes. We have a Japanesque Velvet Touch Foot smoother, callus remover. It appears as though it is unused, which is good. The, I don't know what to think. So, this is wet. I don't know what to think. Is there something in here that broke? I don't think so but it's wet. I don't know. 
I'm just gonna set this aside because I don't know what to think. It looks sealed to me, but it's also wet. Oh, is this like broken? Or is that how it's supposed to be? That can't be how it's supposed to be. Well, that's a bummer. That can't be how it's supposed to be. It's a uh, Olivina men's concrete shave bowl. Yeah, it doesn't even go in there. It, but it's like, it's like uniform all the way around it, but there's no way that that's how it's supposed to be. So, because the lid doesn't even stay on. So, unfortunately, I'm, not, I'm gonna say I can't sell that. Uh, some more eyelashes. Well, that's unfortunate. Raw sugar, simply hand wash, but the pump is gone. Um, so, if it's broken and I can't sell it, Hmm, interesting. Uh, it might be something that I keep for myself and just put in a different dispenser. But that looks like it was worth some money. So that's kind of a bummer. I know that that men's concrete shave bowl was worth some money. So I'm kind of disappointed to see that that's broken. Yeah, this is selling for $14.99 on Amazon. So that's a bummer. Um, but I mean, I might sell it at a garage sale. Perhaps some, I mean, someone might buy it for a few bucks. All right, come on now. Be good to mama. Okay, so we have a healthy volume, very, very large Tresemme healthy volume shampoo. Um, so this has clearly leaked, unfortunately. Um, but there are multiples. So I'm telling you what I'm gonna do. This one leaked too. See, this is reminding me of the first, uh, the first uninspected returns lot that I got from Bulk. That's what this is reminding me of. So what I'm gonna do with these, I'm not gonna sell these online. Um, I'll probably, since this is just shampoo, you just take some, you just run it under some water and it will clean all of the shampoo off. Um, I'm gonna sell these locally. I sell stuff like this locally all the time. I'll put two together and I'll be like, hey, two for $8 and boom. It, just like that, I'll make a five or $6 profit. So, wait, did I do that math right? If my cost is 141, then my cost of goods for both of these is let's call it $3. So if I sell both for eight locally, I've made a $5 profit. There we go. Let's keep the math right there, Lindy. It's like kindergarten math. Okay, Q-tips. Um, these I will not bother listing. These I will either just keep for our family or I'll sell them for a couple bucks a piece at garage sale. The Q-tip brand usually sells for a lot of money. So selling those locally for, you know, two or three dollars a piece, I'll easily get my money back and then some. I'm not afraid of selling this kind of stuff at a garage sale. I know I say that kind of thing and everybody looks at me like I'm crazy, but I sell stuff like that at garage sales constantly. It's actually between like health and beauty and like leftover house stuff. Health and beauty is what I sell the most of at a garage sale. Like if I make $500 at a garage sale, chances are like 400 of it came from health and beauty stuff. I sell that kind of stuff all the time. Medicines too. Okay, so this is totally like busted open. Uh, Garnier Brilliant Color um, Dark Brown. I couldn't really use it and have any sort of a color change, so uh, that's probably just trash, unfortunately. EOS Shimmer Lip Balm. Uh, probably not worth it to sell individually. This is something that I would probably keep and set aside and throw in a box. Uh, I don't know if the video has been posted yet, so I'm just gonna repeat myself. If you've already heard me say this before, hey, new day, new video. So 
onesies and twosies like this that really aren't worth much to sell individually on eBay or Mercari. Uh, and I can't send them into Amazon. If I could send them into Amazon, I would, but I can't because I'm restricted. So what my plan is for little things like this is I'm just gonna basically throw little onesies and twosies and cosmetics in a box if they're not worth it to sell individually. And then when I get enough items in a box, I'll just sell the lot as just like a mixed beauty lot at approximately like a dollar per item or something like that. So this is something that I will just stick in that box and I'll just sell it in a lot when I get enough stuff. Okay, more eyelashes. If I remember right on the manifest, there was a lot of eyelashes. Ooh, spider web spooky eyelashes. Look at there. There are some spider web eyes. Ooh, okay. Here's some more of the hand soap, but these are not broken. That's good, okay. So these are not broken. So there's one that is broken, and then a few in here that are not. Let me see if I could send them into Amazon. Nope, I'm restricted. Um, but I'll sell them on eBay or Mercari. Um, depending on how many I have, I think I'm only gonna have like three, four, I have four, five, I think as long as that one's not broken. Um, I'll lock these up depending on how many I have. I might do sets of two, I might do sets of three, just depending. Uh, I'll sell them as lots on eBay or Mercari. Again, because of the weight, I would prefer to do Mercari just for the cheaper shipping. Okay, so this makes five that don't have the broken nozzle, uh, and then one that does more eyelashes again these are going to be really super easy to list they're all brand new in package uh so i'll just have to like set aside like the 110s the wispies the 105s uh, and then i'll just do multiple quantity lots okay so we have a secret active fresh deodorant that is brand new but the cap is missing so i'm assuming the cap just popped off it's probably in here somewhere uh, Beauty 360 exfoliating cleansing towelettes. So this is just a CVS brand. It's not a name brand or anything. Uh, so this I will probably set aside and sell at a garage sale or I'll just keep it for myself because I use stuff like this. So we have a Single Herbal Essences Smooth Collection Conditioner, since there is only one. He might have got some spit down his throat or something. This is a Hello Hydration, so there's two. There's no shampoos to go with them, it's just the conditioners, but Again, this is something that I would just sell locally. I'd sell it in a garage sale or something. Easily sell this for $3 and sell this for $2, easy. Got some silver color hairspray. That I'll probably just sell local. Some Eucerin Daily Protection Face Lotion. Uh, Eucerin brand usually sells for a pretty good amount of money. However, I know that I can't sell it on Amazon. Okay, so on Amazon it's selling for $7.49. Uh, so this is something that, it, it's still brand new. It's just wrapped like this so it didn't uh, spell everywhere, which I appreciate. This is probably just something that I'll sell locally. Um, maybe I'll list it on eBay. Maybe I'll list it for $6.99. It would only be like $3 to ship it. I might list it on eBay. We'll see how the spirit moves me. We'll see how I'm feeling. If not, I'd sell it locally. You guys might start noticing a trend. A lot of the health and beauty stuff that's like this, the, the stuff that I pay like a dollar or under two dollars for, a lot of that stuff, it's gonna be geared more towards filling shelves at like, 
uh, garage sale, that kind of thing. If it's just onesies and twosies, I probably wouldn't bother selling it online, but I could easily sell it at a garage sale and make money. So I always like to have stuff like that uh, at my garage sale because it really does bring people in. Um, so just because you see that kind of stuff, don't say, oh my God, why would you list that on eBay for like nothing? No, it's because I didn't get it to list on eBay. Got it to list it, sell it locally. So here is a cheap little nothing back massager and it's broken. So that's probably going to be trash. Uh, here is a oral B toothbrush set. Um, again, I can't really sell this online because it's not really worth anything. It's probably worth like $5.99 at the store. So this is something I'd either sell locally or I would just keep it for us. A spiced cider candle. Again, not really something that I would list online. It would just sell locally. Elf Cosmetics and it fell out. It might be in here somewhere. We'll have to see. Uh, let's see. Uh, NYX Glitter Goals. Glitter Goals. It's gold. Glitter Liquid Eyeshadow. Uh, price tag on here is $7.99. Depending, I might list this individually. If not, I would put it with that lot I talked about. Uh, is that Cetaphil? I always for I, I, I like never really know what to call it. Uh, Cetaphil, I know that it sells for pretty good money in the store, but there is no US, or not US, there is no UPC on this, which leads me to believe that this is not individually marked for sale. So this is something that will probably just be a garage sale item. This is a Method Gel Hand Wash Refill. Uh, I can... Is this... No, it's not broken. Okay, so this is packaged just like this so that it wouldn't spill everywhere. But the factory seal has not been broken. So if I wanted to list this online and sell it, I could. Uh, I don't know what the resale value is, so I'm not sure if I would just sell this locally or if I would go ahead and list it online. Okay, so this is the Swab, uh, Swab Professionals Keratin Shampoo and Conditioner Combo. Again, this is something since it's Suave, I probably won't bother listing it online, but this is something that would easily sell locally for probably uh, $4. So that would be an instant profit for me. And I could guarantee that it would sell really fast. Uh, duo eyelash glue. Here's another one of those Tresemme bottles. Here's a Revlon Style and Go hair dryer. I'm pretty sure this isn't selling for much. We'll just see what the Amazon price is. Okay, so it's selling on Amazon for $33.95. That's actually more than I expected it to. Uh, it is still new in box. The seal has not been broken, so it is still factory sealed. However, it is really dirty. <laughs> like the box is really dusty. It needs a really good wipe down. So I can't send it into Amazon even if I wanted to, but I'll just sell it as new in box on eBay or Mercari. The box is just really dusty. I'll just clean up the box. Ooh, here's some Vampira, Vampira. I don't know if you can tell, but there's like black and red lashes. Those are cool. Some more Vampura. Some more of the Pixie Dust glitter lashes. More of these. 
even if these only sell for like two for $9.95 or two for $7.99 or something, these are like seriously weightless. Two of these will ship for less than $3. Even if I sell two for $7.99, it's just gonna be multiple, multiple quantity listings. Super easy to list. Bean Body Coffee Scrub with skin-loving coconut oil and sea salt. It is unused, it's not opened, it's just in this, it's just in this bag to protect it during shipping. Formulated to target dry skin, stretch marks, cellulite, and skin imperfections. I've never heard of such a thing. Okay, so it's selling for $18.99 on Amazon, Holy schmoly, I can actually send it into Amazon if I want to. It's not restricted. Um, but there's no rank. So, there's no rank, which means that it could sit at Amazon's warehouse for a long time. But, I'm gonna go ahead and send it in. Let me tell you why. Because I eventually want to send things into Amazon that are in health and beauty. And this is technically a beauty item. So if I send it into Amazon, because it's something that I'm not restricted in, if I can sell something successfully that's related to the beauty category, later on when I apply, they'll be more likely to ungate me. That's all wishful thinking though. Uh, so, as far as I know, if you want to become ungated in a certain category, if you can sell anything relating to that category, you should. So, even though this doesn't have a ranking, I don't know how fast or slow it's going to sell. It doesn't take up a lot of space, so if it does sit in Amazon's warehouse for a really long time, I don't have to worry about spending a ton of money in storage, unless it hits like 6 or 12 months. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and take the risk, and I'm gonna go ahead and send it into Amazon, even though it doesn't have a rank, just because it's a beauty item. If, if it was anything else and it did not have a rank, I probably would not send it into Amazon just because I don't have the experience with Amazon to know how long it may be sitting at the warehouse if it doesn't have a rank to go off of. Okay, so we've got box of Listerine ready tabs. So this whole box was only $1.41 my cost, which is awesome. Okay, so they're Listerine tablets. Let's see what they're selling for on Amazon. Didn't come up. Uh, this is something, oh, for after coffee in the car or out with friends. I'm intrigued. Uh, don't know what they're selling for, but they would definitely go first class. Uh, I'd probably just list them on eBay, see what happens. More spider web, more pixie dust. Okay, so. Okay, this is still factory sealed. Awesome, it has not been opened. This is the Vital Proteins collagen peptides unflavored dietary supplement okay go figure i can't send it into amazon but it is selling for 25 dollars on amazon so that means on ebay i could sell it probably for 20 bucks it would go first class it's not too heavy uh so I'm probably going to make a really good profit. Now, a lot of people don't see like a $10 profit as being a good profit, but for me, I only spent $1.41 on this item. So if I can sell it on eBay for 20 bucks in free shipping and make a really super easy like $12 profit after fees, shipping, and all of that, I'm happy with that. Turning $1.41 into, you know, a $12 profit, I'm happy with that. See these, it's still sealed, which is good. I'm looking for the lid. I'm gonna set this aside and see if I can find the lid somewhere.
but these are um, those fizzy bathtub colors. Kids love these. I can't sell these on Amazon or anything, even if I found the lid, but this is something, even if I couldn't find the lid, I would just sell it locally for like a dollar. Someone would buy this at a garage sale really fast. Well, this is interesting, but one is missing. Bummer. Skull lip balm. Since one is missing, I'm gonna go ahead and open it. Skull lip balm. Can you see? Can you see? Uh, swallow your soul. I swallow your soul. That's what it reminds me of. Rebels Refinery. Oh, it's like a EOS ball. I. I mean, there's one missing, so I can't sell it as a three pack. There's only two. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but they're cool. Uh, here's another of the Cetaphil, whatever, whatever. Um, yeah, I knew, I know that this brand goes for a lot. This bottle is going for eleven nineteen. That's what it's priced at. Uh, but again, I don't like to sell just one thing, especially when it's this expensive. So this is something I'll just sell locally for a few bucks. More eyelashes. More eyelashes. Okay, so these are different eyelashes than I've gotten before though. These are the magnetic eyelashes. Ooh. Yeah, because everybody has metal implanted in their head. That's not how they work. That's There's a point. top and a bottom. You put on one eyelash, the top eyelash, and then it goes bloop. And they hold on to your eye with magnets touching each other. <laughs> My husband has a thing with eyes. But the original target price is $13.99, so surely I could sell these on eBay for 10 bucks. Aww. These are a wash. Um, these are mink effect. No glue needed, but they've fallen off, so these are a wash. And they're, of course they're expensive. The price tag on them is $17.99 because they were opened that's unfortunate those are a wash more spider web here's a uh, eyelash kit unfortunately the it was opened some stuff fell out the applicator and the glue Here's a men's hydro balance body wash. This is something that I will sell at the garage sale. More Vampira, uh, I'm not even sure I'm saying that right. Vampira eyelashes. Um, but these are pretty, pretty, they're opened. I don't know if I'll sell those or not. Uh, command strips that are opened, that's trash. Elf lip gloss that I cannot sell because it's been opened, so that's trash, unfortunately. Elf concealer stick that has been opened, so I can't sell it, unfortunately. Profusion Sculpt and Glow Contour Palette. Go ahead and open the bag here, see what kind of condition we've got. It's still new, it still has the, I don't know if you could see it, there we go. Still put together, price tag of $9.99 on it. Probably sell it for about the same on eBay. More spider web lashes. Uh, magnetic lashes. Another empty elf box that's probably that lipstick that's opened. More dark maiden eyelashes. Glitter hair stuff. Fantasy by Britney Spears, but it doesn't have the lid, so I can't sell it. But I like Britney. 
I like Britney Spears. Did I ever tell you guys that Britney Spears Curious is like my favorite perfume of all time? I don't know why. Fantasy by Britney Spears. I'll just keep that. Um, this is a Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. Uh, it is still sealed. It is still sealed. Not sure how much it's selling for. How much it's selling for will determine if I sell it individually or if I stick it aside to put in a lot. Selling for $5.99 on Amazon. That means that I'll just stick it in a lot to sell as a group. Uh, Dove Dry Shampoo Volume and Fullness. I am keeping this. I know you guys have probably heard me say before, but this is my favorite dry shampoo. So I'm definitely keeping that. Saw it on the manifest and I went, I'm keeping that. Oh, this is why that Cetaphil did not have where to go? That's why this did not have a barcode because it belongs in a box. It just simply fell out of the box. Whoa. Has a price tag of $15.99. Well, looky there, it's complete now. The box just kind of got a little bit smushed and it fell out because it was heavy. I'm glad I found that box because now I can list it. It was not used. I know someone's gonna be like, oh my gosh, it was out of the box. It was not used. It was brand new. It was not fiddled with. It was still sealed. It did not pump down. So it was completely sealed. It simply fell out of the box in the big box. So um, it's selling on Amazon for $10.99. So I'll probably list it on eBay for $9.99 in free shipping. Again, it will go first class because it's lightweight. More spooky eyelashes. Dark Maiden. This box is smashed though. Dark Maiden. What is this? It is Pixie by Petra Mascara. The price tag on this is $16. Wow. It's selling on Amazon for $30. That's going on eBay. That's not going in a lot. That's getting sold by itself. Okay, so we have some Shea Moisture African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask. Um, I don't, because of the weight, I don't think it's going to be worth it just to sell this by itself. However, I might keep it for me just because if I had two, um, and I don't, if I had two, I would sell two together because it would be worth it. But just one, I'll look it up. And if it's not worth it to sell it, or if it's not worth it to sell it online, then I might keep it or I might uh, sell it at a garage sale. But I always like like face masks and stuff. That's like my jam. I love nothing more than to have like, a nice beverage and a face mask and a good movie. So that's kind of like how I treat myself. So we'll see. This is a Maybelline Fit Me Shine Balance uh, Shine Stick. Price tag of $8.19. Still new and really nice shape. So this is probably something that I will not lot up. I'll probably sell it individually. Uh, toothbrushes that are opened and one of the toothbrush heads is broken off. So because this is opened and this would normally go in someone's mouth, uh, I'm not going to use these and I'm not going to sell them. So they're going straight to the trash. More hair stuff the spray color. Uh, there's one of the flawless finishing touch hair removers. Um, it does, it has been open, so I'll probably pull it out just to see if everything is in there. Um, I may or may not sell it on eBay, depending. I might just sell it locally. 
Depends on the condition. This was attached to something. Oh, it was the massager, the cheap little massager. That's busted. And I see, let's see. Cantu Shea Butter Intensive Hair Deep Treatment Mask. Definitely not worth selling. I'll probably just keep it to treat myself. Uh, little thing of Colgate Optic White. There's only one and it is like a small travel tube. So this I'll just keep. There's really no point in selling it. Crest White Strips. It has definitely been opened. I don't even know what all is supposed to be in there. Is it just supposed to be the strips? Because that's what inside the box looks like. If this whole thing is missing, uh, then obviously I can't do anything with it. Um, how many strips are supposed to be in here? Let's see. 28 strips. There's definitely not 28 strips in here. Who knows? Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just use them. There's only, eight. what? How many is in here? I mean, these are all individually sealed. This includes one upper and one lower strip. There's some treatments in here. I'll use them. I ain't above using some Crest no slip white strips in a box that's already been opened. They're individually sealed. I'll use them. I can't sell them. And they're individually packaged, so why not? Okay, so here's some lash stuff that has been opened. Some more spooky lashes. Here is a L'Oreal Extra Intense Eyeliner. That'll just stick with the lot stuff. And then that's it. That is, this is the bottom of the box. And I see the pieces of the, the concrete, the concrete bowl, unfortunately. But that's everything. Uh, so again, there was a significant amount of items that were broken, but there was also a lot of items that are definitely sellable. Most of it I'll end up selling locally, but with my cost of goods being like a dollar forty-one per item, I know I'm gonna make money on this lot. I know a lot of you guys might not think so, but I know how I roll. I know how this goes. I it's not my first rodeo. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up so that I know it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to check the video description for useful links and feel free to subscribe if you are interested in seeing more content. I'll see you guys with my next video. Bye.